Okay, welcome back to uh, slide 17, functions of the lymph nodes. Uh, basically, you know, they do two basic functions, uh, phagocytosis, and if uh, you're familiar with the game Pac-Man, uh, basically, you know, Pac-Man is trying to always eat and munch up uh, the little ghost guys. And so basically you could think of this as, uh, you know, your white blood cells, your macrophages right here, chasing bad bacteria and trying to eat them. So um, they actually filter the lymph and they help destroy microorganisms. And secondly, they assist the immune system and this helps to build up an immune response because they monitor for foreign materials and antigens and they mount up attacks against them. In our next slide, slide 18, what we're looking at is lymph node structure. And we're getting ready to show you some pictures here in just a minute. But for right now, I just kind of want you to think about lymph nodes being like small lima beans, little bitty bean shaped. They're surrounded by a tough fibrous capsule, kind of like a lima bean. You have to poke through the outside of it to get into the inside. And once you get inside of them, they're very compartmentalized. And they have little compartments in them. And they're walled off by um, areas of walls called trabeculae and these trabeculae or walls extend into these lymph nodes and I'm going to show you what it looks like here in just a minute and all nodes have two regions uh, an outer region and an inner region so I'm going to enlist the help of my one of my favorite childhood um, characters here this will help us with cortexes and medullas this is the famous sock monkey right <laughs> and you can see like a sock monkey like let's take his ear for example the very outside of any structure in anatomy is the cortex and the medulla is the inner core piece of it. So in any anatomical structure you have an outside and an inside, a cortex and a medulla. We're just using the ear as an as a example and uh, he's telling you bye for now. Okay sock monkey, thank you for helping us. <laughs> uh, okay so now let's look at the lymph node and uh, this is an actual microscopic shot under the microscope, but this is the drawing that an artist did to help us interpret what's going on. We're going to zoom in here and just kind of look at the lymph node really quickly. Here is the cortex around the outside. Here is the medulla. So anything in this area is the medulla. There's uh, cords in here. These are strands, and they're called medullary cords that are in the center. These areas right here that you see in purple are follicles, and those are full of white blood cells called B cells that help fight. Notice that there's four vessels coming into the lymph node, but only two going out. These ones coming in are affectionately called afferent, and the two that are exiting are called efferent, and you can remember efferent or exit is how you keep that straight. But you know, I got a question for you. Why do you think there's four coming in, but only two going out? What is going on? Okay, can you think about that? How about, here's your clue. When you go to Walmart, uh, everybody comes in Walmart, and then they seem to get held up at the checkout counters. <laughs> think about that clue for a minute. Okay, well anyway, you can see the trabeculae, the walls in here, walled off. Uh, and this is kind of advantageous because uh, if you want to have a fight, you back somebody up against a wall, you have a better chance to knock them out, and this is what it's trying to do, is kill bad uh, bacteria, infections, cancer cells, and that type of thing.